Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for June 17th, 18th, and 19th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is a general reading, so, you know, I'm going to be using, and it's the weekend reading, so I'm going to be using my Radley Valentine cards. I'll use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message. My Archangel Power Tarot cards, I will pull one. I will pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I may pull some from my Guardian Angel deck, my Radley Valentine Guardian Angel deck. I may or may not. I'm not sure. It'll be dependent upon where we're at with the reading. Oh, heck, I'll probably do it. Anyway, um, but I will also, because I kind of like doing it, and I feel like I, these have been calling me a little bit again, I will do this for the introduction, and this is my, um, my Weight Rider traditional tarot. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, and whatever the message is just comes through. My job, just deliver it. Now, remember, reversed cards have a stronger energy. Court cards have an underlying energy for each of the court cards also. Uh, we will be entering into cancer season, which is water energy, so that's emotional, it's fluid, So, and we also will have some other things going on. I will be working on the longer readings too, so just be aware of that. Now, let's go ahead and see if there's anything or what needs to be said or what needs to come out with our Weight Rider tarot cards. Ah! Flying. So here we go. One card. That's the one that just kind of flew out there. Let's go on to two more cards because I like the three. Here we are. Hold on a second. See what we have here. Okay. So this is kind of a general, just what is the energies like out there. They're not the specific, but let's see how... Let's see what this is all about for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The one that flew. Okay, so we have an eight. Eight has unlimited opportunities. It's really something that really moves forward. We also have the, um, the pentacles. Pentacles is earth energy. That is our Taurus, our Virgo. It is also our um, Capricorn energy. Very solid, something you can touch. And in this, there's a lot of payoff here. I'm feeling like there's a lot of payoff. Remember, we are still in Mercury retrograde. It is still in Gemini. I think it's in there until the 24th. And remember, the 24th is going to be the full moon in Capricorn, which is the Earth sign. So I'm feeling like there's some energy. There's some payoff energy here. There are some things that, you know, people, what you've invested into, the car, into your karma, you know, if you've kept your vibrations high and you've been, you know, been kind, doing the things you need to do, Remember, being kind does not mean that you can't have boundaries. Please know that. You know, a lot of times, well, that wasn't kind of you, you know, but that was my boundary, and that person stepped over. So please don't ever think that being kind means that you have to let people just walk all over you. You don't need to do that. Anyway, whoever needed that one. But I feel that this is kind of a payoff energy. A lot of the things that we've put into making things change from this weekend possibly to that full moon in Capricorn, which is that Earth energy. So payoff. There is going to be a payoff type of energy starting. I think actually we're in it now, but more so with this Friday, Saturday. Your next card? Ah, the Ace of Swords. That is reversed. Now, Swords is air energy. It is our Gemini, it is our Libra, it is our Aquarius, it's our thought process, it's making plans, it's going out, you know, I'm kind of feeling like this is a new journey, new thoughts, new ways of thinking about how to have that payoff, how to make that money, how to, you know, what do I need to do next? Now, swords, again, aces is, is one, new start, new beginning, but this is some new ideas. This is, there's a lot of things happening, a lot of new ideas joining you. That's, again, it's how, I don't know if it's how to spend the money or if this is how to make the money, okay? Or just, I also kind of feel like this is opening your eyes to more and more um, possibilities and to more and more um, things that could 
could pop, you know, again, I know the possibilities, I'm being a little redundant there, but more and more um, things that could happen, okay? That there are things that could be, that, you know, things that maybe we've limited ourselves in our thoughts. So I feel very strong expansion, like breaking through a lot of barriers, kind of thinking maybe we couldn't do something before and now kind of thinking, hey, maybe some things are possible. Your last card here. Okay, so this is the Five of Cups. Cups is our Cancer, it is our Pisces, our Scorpio, that we're going to be going into that time. Now, this is kind of a, you know, this is kind of a mixed blessing, okay? Fluid emotional. This is a mixed blessing. This is kind of looking at, kind of looking at what we possibly had and saying, that's gone. You know, it's kind of saying, um, you know, what am I going to do? It's, it's, it's not necessarily in the in-between, but it's just kind of saying, I don't know necessarily what I want to leave behind. I kind of liked where I'm at. Not necessarily looking that there is a future ahead of us, that there is something waiting for us. So here, you know, okay, fives, change energy. Yeah, yeah I wanted to make sure that that was an eight over there. Um, five is change energy, positive, negative, it doesn't really matter. It's always a little bit on the stressful side. So whatever is changing here, it is letting go of something and not quite being aware of or not being not quite ready to face what is possible because there is even though this might have this might be gone even though this is left and there's a little bit of mourning there's a little bit of um feeling you know some you know just some sadness with this there is something going on with that um again it's not necessarily seeing the positive that's that's about to happen okay okay so it'll be a very interesting um interesting weekend i do feel very strongly that this eight this you know again whether it be karma um oh i i do feel there's a lot of karma but i do feel that this has a lot of payoff energy new ideas kind of letting thing you know kind of looking at it and saying oh oh this is what i wanted but not necessarily seeing that there's something so much better waiting for you okay okay anyway Let's get started with our readings. Hello, my Scorpios. How are you, my darlings? Now, let's see what we have for the weekend for you. Here we go. Let's see. I want you to get out. Okay, get out of your house. Get out a little bit more. Get in. I want you to enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy the... I, I want you to enjoy people a little bit more so. Okay? Um, I want you to move. I want you to start moving because, you know, my Scorpios, you should not be sitting still. Here we go. One, two, and three. Middle one is reversed. First card, nine of earth. Nines have that wrap-up energy. Things are getting done. Things are happening. And it's ready, it's time to like close the door, close the gate, whatever it is. I kind of just feel like it's time to just get things done. Put the bow on it, get it in the mail, all that type of energy. Earth energy is our Taurus, it's our Virgo, it's our Capricorn, solid. Something you can touch, money, job, career, how you make your money, your home, okay? There is so much around you, so much going on around you for you to just engage with for you to get involved with. There is, you know, and I don't know if it's just, you know, I, just, to me it's a big, but if it's you getting out and doing gardening around your house or doing some minor repairs around your home, or if it's you getting out, but I feel like you need to get out and start being more in the earth again, more in, in, in the public again, having more of that earth energy around you. There's been a lot of isolation, a lot of thinking, you know, kind of being too close with your thoughts. I feel you need to expand your environment a little more so. Now, this one is enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. I feel like you've been doing a lot of quiet time alone, okay? But I, and I, th I feel like it's time to expand that, okay? It's like the earth energy, it's, it's like growing flowers it, it's getting bigger anyway let's see next card the ace of earth now earth energy again 
Aces is one, new beginning, new start. So we have a nine and a one there. So there could be some some sort of a, um, you know, number thing going on. We'll see. But this has to do with, um, again, I feel the growth. I feel that, you know, things growing around you. So this could be a really positive career movement for you. This could be, you know, somehow, you know, I, again, I keep feeling like gardening and and flowers growing and, you know, things that have been, you've been waiting for coming, packages even coming. So I feel like this has a moment, this is a moment of major growth. Now, it could be growth in your career, growth in your family, your home, but I just feel like it's more. There's more. This is a, this is a weekend of more. Okay? Okay. The inflow of abundance, a promising business adventure important documents or contracts and i know more isn't it just feels bigger it just feels but it feels very much in the world also energy next card is two of earth so you have a nine one and a two now the twos are to some decision making do i go that this way do i go that way which is which is my choice and so there is again this is very this could be very hard for you, my Scorpios, because it's so earth energy. And you are water energy, you're fluid energy, you're emotional energy. And this is making you step out of that more, that emotional, and be more practical. Be a little bit more, you know, like I said, in the earth. There's so much of this earth energy around you. There is some decisions. It's kind of like getting down to business type of energy. And you'd rather be more so with your thoughts. You'd rather be more so with how you feel about things. There's a practicality with this energy this weekend also. It's getting things done with this energy. And the thing is, the energy is not going to let you... The energy is going to be is going to be so earthbound, so grounded energy. It's not going to let you go back to think about things, okay? It's not going to let you go back to ponder, to be a part, you know, to kind of like, no, no. It's pulling you into the world. It's pulling you to take some action. It's pulling you to um, to be a part of to be a part of I don't know, is it of life, of the world, of the group, of you know? It's pulling you and making you um, kind, yeah, just be part of the world again. Okay. Interesting. I hope you. Well, you know, my thing, my job, just deliver. Here we go. Too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. I feel like for some of my um, Scorpios, you know, you've been so much into your emotions and into your mind. This is going to be a little harder. But once you kind of get used to it, it will actually be a lot more fun. Okay? So let's see what we have here. So this, so if you're invited to a barbecue, if you're invited to a party, if you're invited to step out a little bit more so to be a part of a bigger group you know i mean think about it it's your choice you don't have to but it it looks like it looks like there's going to be a lot of this earth energy and it does feel too you know just the fact that it's earth energy it does feel like it could have to do with your work also so let's go on and see what we have here oops so now we have the seven of Gabriel. Seven has this umbrella. It's a divine umbrella. It's a divine number. Gabriel is our fire energy. It is our Leo Sagittarius. It's also our Aries energy. It's it's basically take, you know, the seven of Gabriel is, is kind of like taking a stance, but it's also showing yourself again. It's also being who you are supposed to be. You know, I kind of feel that there's some, so my Scorpios, that there's been some you know, like this, there's been a lot of hiding in the energies. There's been a lot of not necessarily showing who you're supposed to be. But the Gabriel, the seven of Gabriel is getting out there and being who you're supposed to be. Okay, now, this will talk about stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. So there is this earth energy and there is this fire energy and it is passionate energy. And it's not necessarily comfortable energy for you, my Scorpios. It's not necessarily comfortable, but it's very, it's very, very needed. It's very needed for you because I feel like you, there's been some of you that have been too much into that emotional, the emotional quandary, the emotional energy of the water. 
which you are a water energy. So, let's see. Okay, reversed. 15, so we have a 1 and we have a 5, or a 10 and a 5. 15 has a lot of 5 energy to it. 5 is about changes. Positive, negative can be a little bit on the stressful. So, this one talks about choose freedom. Sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked. And I think that's what your 7 of Gabriel is. It's kind of like pushing you forward with that. But often that's just an illusion. You could free yourself from the obstacles that you're so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you may act upon. And it feels like the weekend has, all, has a lot of possibilities for you. That actually, I mean, I can see where that fits. That probably, um, you know, gives a better summary than my, than what I was telling you. But uh, I can see where that is. You know, um, yeah, your way is blocked, but often that is just an illusion. So, like I said, this may not be comfortable, but at that, but you know, feeling like get out there, get out there, okay, my Scorpios, just get out there. Get out there, be among people. Anyway, let's go. What crystal or energy would be helpful for my Scorpio? Reversed. Pyrite. Oh, I like pyrite. Pyrite is good change of fortune, success, renewed focus. It's also about leadership. So, yeah, I want to read this one more time because this just, sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked but often that is just an illusion. Like I said, this may not feel comfortable. Get out there, okay? Get out there. Anyway, my Scorpios, whew. Remember the button, please like, share, subscribe, it helps, thank you. More importantly, my Scorpios, please know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.